Hi everyone, in previous class we talked about flagellar locomotion. Now in this class I will talk about ciliary locomotion. Ciliary locomotion is observed in cilia. Ciliary locomotion observed in cilia. It is performed by bending movements of the cilia. Cilia also shows shift back and forth movements during locomotion as in the case of flagellum. These are called effective and recovery strokes respectively. Cilia moves the water parallel to the surface of its attachment like that of a paddle of pendular movements of water may also described by as pendular to the axis of cilium. It has two types effective stroke and recovery stroke. In effective stroke, cilium, cilium bends backwards, backwards on bits against the water. It's called effective stroke. Body moves, body moves forwards in this stroke as cilium pushes the water backwards. Cilium moves like pendulum or a paddle. Next one, recovery stroke. Next one, recovery stroke the cilium. After the effective, effective stroke comes to its, its original position by its, by, its, by its backwards movements without any resistance. It is called recovery stroke in paramecium. Recovery stroke in paramecium. Cilia shows two types of coordinated movements. One is synchronous movement. Cilia moves transverse row bits stimulously in one direction. The other one is metachronous movements. The sequentially movements of a cilia in longitudinal row one after the other in the one direction. Like a wave, cilia locomotion is faster than plazella locomotion. Hence the ciliates are the faster than protozoans. The final one is gliding locomotion. In this, the small zigzag movement in some protozoans caused by the contraction and relaxation of myonids present below the pellicle in the ectoplasm is called gliding locomotion. Locomotion. Myonids are contractile fibrils which are similar to the myofibrils, the higher protozoans. Gliding locomotions, for example, ciliates and flagellates, etc. Listen once again. Ciliary locomotion. Observed in ciliates. It's two types. Effective stroke and recovery stroke. These movements are the pendular movements. This paramecium cilia shows the two types of movements. First one, synchronous movements. And second one is metachronous movements. Is the last movement is gliding locomotion. Is gliding locomotion jigjab. For example, ciliates and flagellates, etc. These are the cilia locomotion. Thank you all. Take care. Beware of COVID-19.